Taylor Reed with pressure. Taylor Reed with a sack back at the 14-yard line. This week on the Stampede, Coach Tom Mason breaks down the Mustangs' defense. We'll fire zone defense. We're going to bring pressure 70 to 80 percent of the snaps during the game. And we take you to New Orleans for the matchup with Tulane. Yeah. It's Thursday on the Hilltop as two and three SMU preps for a road game against the 0 and five Tulane Green Wave. And JJ's gonna hand it to Zach. He goes up the middle to the two to the one. He's pulling an alignment with him. He has a touchdown, SMU. Tulane, Tulane is in the throes of a 15 game losing streak and has been outscored 212 to 45 in 2012. But Tulane is not without weapons. We got to stop the run game first. Uh, that dark wall kid was, uh, we've seen him for three years. He's a good player. Their defense is, uh, I think, uh, uh, a step up. They've just made a lot of uh, mistakes on offense to hurt their, their defense. They got their quarterback coming back, so they'll, their, their breakdowns on offense are going to be uh, less. So we'll have to. We'll have to play well to beat them. They got great offensive scheme. You know, just coming together. Hopefully, you know, this week, just better us gelling as a team, you know, uh, doing well on the offense, defense, and special teams. Tulane that plays real hard. Haven't won a game yet, unfortunately. They played some tough teams that, man, they're a conference, uh, you know, in uh, division rival. And we've got we to play well to win, uh, to beat. We're facing a Tulane team that, um, you know, may not necess hasn't necessarily had uh, very much success in, on, on the scoreboard this year, but they're going to be a team that, that is athletic and hungry and, uh, you know, just like us. So we're going to go out and we, we expect a, ver a very tough test from them. We just have to be smart um, with them and, uh, and understand that they can make some plays. Um, so we're ready, for, we're ready for a challenge and we understand that we're going to have a tough test going, going there and, and playing them at their place. And then there's the challenge of playing in the New Orleans Superdome. The cavernous stadium seats over 76,000 but Tulane only draws a fraction of that number. It's weird, it's like playing in a big uh, hangar with nobody in there. Uh, it's a little bit dark in there, it's, uh, it's cold, they keep the temperature down. But again, it's the mindset of kids. You go in there, it doesn't matter if you go out and play them in the parking lot, you're gonna play them and you gotta be ready to play. The Mustangs are favored by 18 and a half, but the coaching staff is taking nothing for granted. We gotta play and we'll have to play better than we played at UTEP or we won't win this game. We're not at a point in the program where we feel like we can go in and dominate a team. Uh, we got to be ready to play every Saturday. And Conference USA, uh, if you're not ready to play, you can get upset any any Saturday. SMU's offense has yet to play up to its potential, particularly in the passing game. It's intercepted, picked off by Olabode at the 40. The Mustangs are averaging 22.4 points and 347.2 yards of total offense per game. But head coach June Jones believes it's only a matter of time before his run and shoot attack has a breakout game. You have to throw the ball accurately and you have to catch the ball when you have the chance. And that's what you do to complete them deep. Simple as that. You practice it, do it in practice, do it in the game. That just comes down to uh, execution in the red zone and, and understanding and, and refocusing once you get down there in the red zone. You know, you put in a lot of work to get down there that far um, and, and you, you want to finish the drive. And so. Um, that's going to be that's something that's been a focus for us this week in practice. It'll continue to be a focus for us going forward. June will get it going. I mean, he always has every place he's been, and and it's going to be fun when we really get both sides and the special teams all all three phases clicking. Pass, drop, let's go, let's go, go get them, guys, go get them. Team's looking good. We're practicing hard. It's kind of the middle of the season where you get you got to really push through, staying healthy, staying on top, being disciplined about how we're taking care of ourselves but I think we're doing the things we need to do. We had a good win last week, and we're trying to carry this momentum over. I think we will. The Mustangs are looking for their fourth straight 2-0 start in Conference USA play, and another W on the journey to a fourth consecutive bowl. We have to execute our plan. You know, we can't get ahead of ourselves. It's one game at a time. Um, you know, we're 1-0 we're in conference right now, and our goal is to be 2-0 uh, after Saturday. I think Tulane's gonna be an opponent that we need to be ready for, um, and I think we understand that. Oh, a screen pass, and it's going to be picked off. There's a lateral that's taken by Jaguar Davis. When we come back, Tom Mason talks D. 
Our goal now is, is to move into the top 10 in the country nationally, we try to be there every year. Gilbert, play action, will throw deep down the middle of the field, Darius Johnson all alone at the 15, he'll walk in, touchdown SMU! When you think SMU football, you think high-octane offense that puts points on the board in bunches. But defensive coordinator Tom Mason has quietly assembled one of the top defenses in CUSA. Defense! Defense! Here's a Mustang glitch and a stack Marcus Hunt! These kids have bought into the system you know I've got I've been fortunate to have good assistant coaches with me and to watch this thing develop and grow and the thing that happens now is the kids have taken ownership of the defense and the people have recognized that we're getting a, a higher level recruit than what we got when we first got here and people want to play in this defense because it's fun to play in and he has the ball batted out of his hands touchdown SMU when Mason arrived on the hilltop four years ago SMU ranked 116th in total defense. Last year, the Mustangs ranked 26th, an improvement of 90 spots. It's hard to predict where a defense will end up nationally ranked, but uh, our, our goal now is, is to move into the top 10 in the country nationally, uh, try to be there every year. That's what we're aiming for, and, and uh, I think we can achieve that. The strength of the D is in the front seven. Well, we tell our defensive linemen, you're going to be really bored in this defense because you're going to take on two blockers most of the time, and, and that's your job, and, and the linebackers are going to make all the tackles. St. Reed steps up in the middle of the line. He'll come on a late blitz. They're setting up a screen, but it's being covered. Well, and it's intercepted. It's thrown to Garrett Davis, going left to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, to Garrett Davis. Woo! Let it go, JG. Senior linebackers Jagera Davis and Taylor Reed are known as the Bruise Brothers. In Mason's system, they've posted some eye-popping stats. Taylor Reed with pressure. Taylor Reed with a sack back at the 14-yard line. Reed has 313 career tackles, which ranks him fourth among active FBS players. Oh, throw a screen pass, and it's going to be picked off. It was a lateral that's taken by Jagera Davis into the end zone. Davis has scored five touchdowns, three on fumble recoveries one on a blocked kick, and one on a pick six. Those are kids that have started for four years. Uh, they started as true freshmen. They were what we had to recruit to play this style of defense, and it kind of set the tone. We're kind of become known as the linebacker university across the country now, uh, as far as recruiting. They're what you want a linebacker. They, they can run, they can hit, and they play with enthusiasm, and uh, it's been, been fun to coach them. Quick throw across the middle, caught Ryan Swope, 15, 10, 5, into the end zone, touchdown Texas A&M. The question mark for the defense is the injury-riddled secondary. Three starting DBs have been lost for the season. Their replacements have talent, but obviously lack experience. Junior cornerback Kenneth Acker, the only starter coming into camp who has remained healthy, has big play ability. Kenneth's a great player, um, one of those kids that he's got better every year, becoming one of the more dominant corners in the, in the conference right now. And when the whistle blows, he competes, and that's what I love about the kid. The Mustangs play an aggressive attacking style that mimics the Pittsburgh Steelers. The fire zone defense, we're going to bring pressure 70 to 80 percent of the snaps during the game. We create turnovers, it creates tackles for losses. Uh, it's kind of like keeping the pressure on the offense the whole time, and eventually they'll break. When everything is clicking, the Mustang defense can absolutely take over a game. We want to be an aggressive, uh, high-flying, uh, pressure defense, and the kids have now got to the point where we're playing that style of defense. We always talk to them about that's our personality. We've got to play to our personality. Earlier this season, SMU crushed Stephen F. Austin 52 to nothing. And that was a W that belonged to the D, as the ponies piled up 10 takeaways. Kenneth Acker, second touchdown of the night! That was unbelievable, and uh, especially when four of them went back for touchdowns, and the fifth one was actually a touchdown, but the official blew the ball dead, and then the replay showed it was a, a fumble touchdown, but they couldn't give it to us since they'd blown it dead, and that would have been 35 points. And I've never seen anything like that. I mean, that's what you dream of, and that's what you want your kids to play, and. 
you know, they want you want to play that way, and it, that, that just doesn't happen. I've been coaching 35 years, and I've never seen anything like that. It's kind of one of those things that come in bunches. You get years where you get a lot of them, and you get years where you don't get a lot of them. And, and I think uh, it's just one of those things that it's the luck of the, of the game, or if you're flying around, a lot of times those things happen. Lots of time, Lamas in across the middle. This one's intercepted, Randall Joyner, his second this year. Last week, the Mustangs posted their second shutout as they defeated UTEP 17 to nothing. Taylor Reed with a big tackle for loss, back to the 34. That's an NFL style defense, so if you know how to play in this defense, if you're capable of playing at the next level, you have a chance. Still to come, SMU looks to go 2-0 in CUSA play for the fourth consecutive year as the Mustangs take on the green wave in the Superdome. New Orleans is one of the great tourist cities in the world. Each year, hundreds of thousands of visitors flock to the French Quarter. But for the SMU Mustangs, this trip is all business. Game number two, Conference USA play today. The Mustangs trying to go 2-0 and to start the league for the fourth consecutive year, and uh, they got to do it if they want to try to keep pace in this West Division. Tulsa's run out with four quick wins already in the league, so it's a pretty important one this afternoon. So that guy, that guy will be on your outside, just jump inside of him right here, just block him. Physical. Yes, sir. That's how you get after these talent kind of teams. Yes, sir. You, put, you get them right out there from the beginning. Yes, sir. Tell them who's boss. Yes, sir. All right, boys. Hey, listen up. We know what we got to do. You see someone get down, you pick them up today, all right? Let's go out there, take care of business, and let's have fun when we're doing it. And let's get the win. Let's go back home smiling. For the brotherhood on three. One, two, three. For the brotherhood. Guys, nothing changes. Nothing changes. Out hit them, out hustle them, take the football away, take care of the ball. No penalties on third down. Offense, defense, play the game, and let's get out of here. The Ponies have started slowly all season, and this game is no exception. Griffin looks left, now throws it uh, across the middle. It's going to be caught out of the backfield at the 25 to the 20, cutting left to the 15 to the 10. Touchdown, Robert Kelly. And Tulane strikes first. Tulane quarterback Ryan Griffin finds running back Rob Kelly for six. How we doing at first song? Good? Good penetration. I thought it was good. Ball was out on time. It's hard to get. Okay, just keep playing, man. We're going to be fine. Wristband 29. Handoff coming left. Big room to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, and Zach Line stopped at the one foot line. Way to go! Way to go! In the second quarter, SMU has the ball first and goal at the Green Wave 1. How can we have a false start on a QB sneak? Four wide, shotgun. Gilbert looking to his right, he's going to throw a jump ball, and Derek Jeter looking for the flag because his jersey was almost pulled off by George Batiste. There's no flag. But the offense misfires, and Chase Hover kicks his second field goal of the game. Sorry. That's serious. Let's finish it next time. All right, we got to put it in next time. Push the tempo, push the tempo. Got it. If it's taking too long, have that clock in your head, right? Yeah. If it's taking too long, then just go. On their next possession, SMU drives to the Tulane three, but once again, the Mustangs fail to find the end zone. Chase Hover comes on to attempt a 23-yarder. Greenbauer with the hold, and it's with block at the line of scrimmage. Goes into the end zone. 22-yard field goal for Hover is blocked, and Tulane dodges a bullet. Right, on the goal line, go backside gap, you understand? Make, make your quick calls. You're, you know, you're you and yes, me sir. calls on the back side. You yes, with sir. me? Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Two plays later, it's green wave ball at their own 21. Plenty of time for Griffin. He's got to fire it down the left seam. Caught at midfield. To the 40. To the 30. Edwards to the 20. To the 10. Touchdown to Lane. 79 yards. Gotta be kidding. 
the half, it's Tulane 20, SMU 6. A game that looked like a walkover for the Mustangs has become a very iffy proposition. We were here two years ago with the right. same situation, okay? Right. Same exact situation. <laughs> we're two touchdowns from tying it, which is easy. We should have already had two anyway. You screw it up, you gotta concentrate down in there, execute the throws. We can't have penalties. We had two penalties inside the five yard line that takes us out of a score. Gotta concentrate, execute when you get down in there. We gotta do the things that we do, all right? You gotta play the motion out there. I don't know why I'm, I'm not on the sidelines. I don't know what the emotions are all about right now, but we gotta get this thing rolling. Stephon, how you feeling? Well, I'm pretty much in the same situation. Because the tight end kind of shuffles, and then he goes out on that on yeah. the seam. So, and the seam is kind of deep, so it's hard Work to get your eyes to What we want to do, let's back off that little bit. Let's try to get that thing about five yards depth, okay? Because they haven't run the ball out of that set. So back off to about five yards, and uh, maybe we can get some reroutes on that number one coming back inside. And I'm going to start firing on him more in the second half. All right, I'll start bringing some more pressure on him, see if we can get that home. But anticipate quick throw. Hey, I think what we got, game plan solid, and I, I just backed off because he's throwing so damn quick we couldn't get anything home. We've been here two years ago in this same situation. Same situation. How you get out of this situation is play with energy in the second half, play harder, faster, knock the ball out. We need a turnover. We need a punt return. We need a kickoff return. We need something to energize. You guys hang together. We're two, two touches away from tying it, and then let's put the pressure on them and win this thing, okay? On the road, in the conference, if you wanna be champions, that's what you gotta do. Win on the road, in the conference. Play together, play for each other, and play with energy, and let's get it done. Listen up, believe we can do it. Hey, now's the time to step up, Yeah. okay? We have our chance right now to respond and deal with some adversity. Now's our time to step up and make it happen. We've been talking about it all year. It's our time right now. Yes, sir. Let's everyone make an individual commitment to give everything they got. Let's go, boys. Right, let's hey, go. Let's win on three. Everyone's got the same goal, that's to win. One, two, three. Let's, Let's go, go, man. Let's go. Next up, second half highlights and some closing drama. The second half begins with Tulane leading 20 to 6. Finally, the Mustangs find a spark. Got to get a turnover. Big turnover. Come on, defense. Go defense. With the green wave driving for another score, the defense makes a play. Hand off Dante Butler, and he's going to be crunched. The ball. Oh, ball comes out. SMU has it. Torlin Piven recovers the fumble that was caused by the Mustangs. I believe it was Marcus Hunt on the tackle. Hey, good job moving around. Keep on moving around, guys. Keep on moving around. Let's go. Let's go. Hand off Zach line running right across the 25 up to the 30 to the 32 yard line. That'll be an eight yard gain and an SMU first down. Running back Zach line proves again that he is the offense's MVP as he rushes for 177 yards. This is Line's 18th 100-yard game. Chase Hover ties an SMU record with four field goals in a game, including this career-long 52-yarder in the third quarter. Hold is down, kick is on its way. As the distance, is it on line? It is! Hey, it's time to lose this game. You know that, you know that. <laughs> with Darius Johnson out with an injury, Jeremy Johnson comes up big with 11 catches, good for 106 yards. Pistol, obviously left wide on 37 zone. Garrett Gilbert throws for a season high 275 yards and two touchdowns. The last one, a rope to Darius Joseph, who makes a highlight reel grab. Gilbert's looking left, firing into the end zone. Darius Joseph, touchdown, SMU! First career TD for Darius Joseph. You see a lot of emotion finally on the SMU sideline. The entire team has now come to greet Darius Joseph. Because that was a huge, that was a big time play, knowing he's going to take a shot, big shot up top around the shoulder and head area. He holds on to it. He's very excited, deservedly so. That's a big play. That's how we do it! Yeah! yeah. yeah. 
SMU leads 26 to 20 with just 122 to go in the game. So far, the defense has pitched a shutout in the second half. Defense! Defense! Another stop, and this game goes in the win column, but it is not to be. Three-man SMU rush. Griffin throws right side. It's caught at the 10, five. Touchdown, Robert Kelly. 35 seconds left, and Tulane's just tied it up. That's a hell of a first win for you. Great Thank job. You. Thanks, Great go job. Good job. Hey, good, good luck. Win. All right, buddy. Take care. Take care. Yeah. The final score, Tulane 27, SMU 26. A stunning defeat for the Mustangs, but there are a number of bright spots. SMU pounds out 197 yards on the ground, 29 first downs, and 471 yards in total offense. The telling stat is this. Six trips to the red zone produce only 23 points. We've had this problem all year, just coming out flat, um, not completing balls, not getting you know good runs, and um, just stalling on offense. Defense did a good job of holding them. It's just one of those things. You just got to find that find that path you need to take to start scoring points early. Everyone stayed in the game. Everyone everyone stayed with it. You know, we knew we were just one or two plays away and we were able to fight our way back. Um, we just got to finish. Give credit to them for putting together a drive there at the end. You force them to force them to score a touchdown by, by, by getting the points. We just have to go and move on. We know, you know this game is behind. Um, you know, we have to focus on Houston and uh, you know we knew this, this team can be dangerous and uh, you know, they, they sure showed it. The Mustangs will have a short week to regroup. Houston comes to the Hilltop for a Thursday night matchup that kicks off at 7. The Cougars have won three in a row and will provide a stern test for SMU. For tickets, call 214-SMU-GAME. That's 214-SMU-GAME. Or log on to smumustangs.com.